What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick Bartell, editor and chief for Techno Warriors TV, and welcome to another video review. Today, we're taking a look at the Qatar Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. This is Corsair's newest gaming mouse, and I will want to give a big rock and roll shout out to Andrew Williams from Corsair, and a big rock and roll shout out to Justin Akbina, both of them, for help making this video possible. Now, Andrew Williams' call sign is Holiday, and Justin Akbina's call sign is a Jester, or Jester. Well, thank you guys so much for sending this out to the show for you guys, or to the studio. Let's go ahead and talk about some of this product's features. Well, um, the Qatar Pro Wires is Corsair's newest, one of the newest Corsair's newest gaming mouse based on their Slipstream technology. So, um, it's sub one millisecond wireless or Bluetooth connectivity. It's stupid lightweight at 96 grams and up to 135 hours of battery life on a single AA battery. I do like the, the it's got a compact symmet symmetric shape and a 10,000 DPI optical sensor. Now, the Qatar Pro Wires does come with IQ software, which makes it really good for changing various things, including the firmware. And you do get a double A G, this generic GP alkaline double A battery with it. I would have liked to have seen a door stir cell battery. And I really like how this mouse looks. Looks really, really sharp. Okay. Looks very grippy. All right. A little Corsair logo, and you'll get a little LED right there when you click on the DPI settings. So, left and right mouse button. It's like, it's a fairly standard mouse, but I really like is just the performance of this mouse. I'm really, really appreciated of how nice this mouse is. So, one thing I do like, okay, is it's fast. It's very, very fast. Okay, the mouse is on. That way you can see what it looks like. Now, this is my favorite thing. Look how small that dongle is. I really like the dongle, and I really like that USB adapter. Okay, you can get a nice picture of those little switches there. Okay. Now, Bluetooth, what you'll do is you'll just, once, once you put it in Bluetooth mode, okay, you got wireless, and that's for if you have a wireless, just for the wire dongle. Now, if you flip it over to Bluetooth, what you'll want to do is go over to your devices, okay, and you can see right there, it's kind of like in a pairing mode. One you'd want to do, it'll say Corsair, Qatar Mouse, or Qatar Pro Wireless, or something on that line. So you connect it, and you're good to go. And that's if you have a Macintosh, or a MacBook, or something along those lines. Or you have an Android tablet you need a mouse with. You will use it like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a look and see what the IQ software is like. And of course, you're not going to get that much, but you can do some things, which is pretty cool. But being this is a $40 mouse. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's $39.99. It's $40 US dollars, and it's compared to some of the other mice out there. But I really, really like is, it's just a simplicity. It's really light at 96 grams. I do like the fact you can do either do Bluetooth or USB with the little USB a wireless USB dongle. Now, I, the only problem I have is that little dongle, the one I got the first round, because I had to get, I actually had to go out and buy one. This is a review sample, but I actually had to buy a Qatar Pro Wireless in an emergency because my Logitech G502 bit the bit the dust. So, I would have to say I'm really, really impressed with this mouse. Let's go ahead and head over to the computer. We'll show you the IQ software real quick. And we'll head back over here and tell you what I thought about this mouse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a peek at Corsair IQ software and let's see 
what treats and settings the Qatar Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse has for us. So, this is the software portion of this review. And before I want to start, I want to give a big rock and roll Techno Warriors TV shout out to Darren N E I T A. That is right. A big, awesome shout out and thank you for your support. And I'm glad that you like the channel. Enjoy the videos here. We have more fun content coming soon. So, once again, a big shout out to you, Darren N E I T A. Have a awesome Thanksgiving. And have an awesome week. Well, let's take a look. At what we have here now this is where you would normally have everything like you'll have your all your devices that do support IQ like computer peripherals mouse keyboards headset headset stands uh, RGB equipment RGB strips RAM and anything else now the cool thing with court Asus with the Aurora, with the Ace with the Asus RGB syncing software with the latest version of IQ installed, they have teamed up so you can actually control your Asus ROG lighting here, which is really fun. Now the Qatar Pro Wires gaming mouse does have a couple features, not that much, but you can go in here to performance, DPI, and this goes all the way up to 10,000 now well the one thing that is our that is multi-colored it's not really multi-colored but you can change the color on it it's a DPI switch the DPI button on the bottom near the scroll well now if we go into settings we have something here we have the connection status we have our battery which is high we have our dongle pooling rate, the brightness level of the mouse, sleep mode after 120 seconds. Now, if you want to disable this, you can do so. But after 120 seconds, it will go into a sleep mode, so that way you won't have to worry about that. Now, you can change whether it's performance mode or power saving mode, and this is where you can update the firmware settings, which is really, really cool. Now, and you can have a set to have a thing in your notification but enabling sleep mode and you can also set the time but if you don't want to set the time you can just disable it and then that's what you get with device settings now dashboard's a little cool that's something really really cool it shows us our CPU it shows our ASUS Tech ROG Strix B450 motherboard it shows us everything that's going on here and shows us our DRAM frequency and all that fun stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the software portion of the Corsair Qatar Pro Wires Gaming Mouse Review. And once again, a big thank you and shout out to Darren NEI. So, let's go ahead and talk about what we thought about this mouse, what I liked, and what I didn't like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what did I think about this mouse? Now, I thought it was actually a really, really excellent mouse for 40 US dollars. You're getting a lot. You're getting 10,000 DPI, optical sensor. You're getting a really, really nice feel in the head. Now, this is, this mouse is quite small. So if you have a bigger hand, it may be a little tough for you and it is not ambidextrous. It is meant for right handers. Okay. Now, when it comes to, I mean, it's, you can use it left or right, but I feel with the right hand. So it's really nice with the right hand. So yeah. Now, and that's one thing I did not like. I wish it was an ambidextrous design. So left or right handed. Okay. So another thing I really, really liked about this is 
just how easy it is to connect. You have this very little, cute, adorable adapter, and you have a holder for it so you don't lose it. We do have a AA battery, which I, it's okay. I'm glad it comes with one. I'm not going to complain, but put some Duracells in here. I mean, you can use a battery that already comes with it, but switch, get some Duracells. Duracells are energizers, and you're good to go. Now, another thing I do have to complain about is one thing that happens in the when you're running this. If you're not using the mouse, you will get a slight delay before it starts. If you're like not doing anything like idling, you will get a slight delay before the actual mouse starts moving. I don't know if that's a software bug or something, but let me know if you experienced that. Also, I thought I found out the USB Wi-Fi adapter to be pretty cheaply made. But keep in mind, this is a $40 mouse. Now, our review sample is USB adapter. Feels actually better than the one we got that we actually bought on Corsair's website. Yes. The one that's hooked up this one right here. Yes. It's the same mouse, exact same mouse. This one is a bought one. This one is the review sample. So, yes, I have two of these. Okay. Now, I really love this mouse. I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's a Techno Warriors awesome product. It's a really great option if you're on a budget and you, you know, you want a good wireless mouse, but you, you don't want to spend buco bucks on it. So it's a great budget gaming mouse. It doesn't have any RGB. So if you hate RGB, this is going to be the perfect mouse for you. And it's no nonsense RGB. It's 10,000 DPI. You can do Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and it's lightweight, but there is some software quirks with it. Other than that, I'm giving it an eight and a half out of 10. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching the video review of the Corsair Qatar Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. A big shout out to Andrew Williams from Corsair, call sign holiday, and a big shout out to Justin Akbina from Corsair. Thanks you guys so much for all your awesome support and making this video possible for you guys. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that dislike button if you disliked it. And if you adored it, all you have to do is strangle that subscribe button, slap in the face, and pow, right in the kisser.